being socially punished for still um first of all it's nice to meet you because i love your shit i have never seen you before until like this morning but i love what you have to say thank you for saying what you have to say it fills me with joy despite the depression of what's going on that you are saying what you're saying because i think it's really important so just this month i wrote two memoirs about being a late in life realized autist okay and i have a phd so i'm in like the most elitist sort of institution you can possibly imagine that is obviously doing everything it possibly can all the time to reinforce all the norms that include eugenics and the thing is is like after not knowing I was autistic for like 30 some years, or at least not like really allowing myself to accept it. Like I actually learned about it at the age of 27. Um, there, there is not a, it is not a coincidence that there are autists a lot of the time realizing what's happening right now in regards to the demoralizing behaviors of people that are not masking anymore and acting like this doesn't exist. It is a compounding form of ableism, obviously. And I know I'm telling everyone this, then they probably already know, but just in case anyone forgot that may be watching this or is the creator who I'm very happy to now have run into, this shit is not a fucking coincidence. We are being attacked on every way. Like quite literally today is my very first day of the new semester and I'm about to enter into a class that is the equivalent of a bunch of people walking in with active chainsaws. Like I talked about on, TikTok, on, on Twitter. Let me share my tweet. I said, I'm so fucking pissed about having to constantly be around people who are transmitting COVID when it could ruin my ability to live my life or kill me. It's like if random folks on campus had active chainsaws and proceeded to fill my classes, waving them around wildly. And it's not even, it's not an exaggeration. Like it is, I'm trying to make light of a situation that is quite literally putting my life at risk every single fucking day I am in person leaving my fucking doorstep to be around people that have decided my life doesn't fucking matter. And apparently I'm not allowed to say anything about that. Apparently I'm the bad guy if I say anything about the fact that my fucking life is constantly being put at risk by people who have decided they don't give a single fuck if I live or die. And that is not okay. Why the actual fuck? Should I stay silent about this society treating most of us as if our lives don't fucking matter anymore? And then I'm going to get treated like the bad guy if I'm not silent about it? Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm so happy. <laughs> Literally, I am enraged. I am, and it's righteous rage, and I know that. But like, okay, this is all to say, and I know that this went a lot longer than I was intending it to, so I'm sorry. But seriously, this is fucked. This is absolutely fucked up. And that's why I wrote the second volume of my memoir called On Being the Bad Guy, because this is just that fucked.